Here's the average function. So what we're doing down in here is we're coming through and we're looking at we're applying a filter. So we're using the average down here and we want this filter to come through say it's greater than or equal to the average internet or count as we drop on through. If I switch over to the code editor I think I can do a better example. <clears throat> Here's with, without the filter function now I'm creating a, a, a member up here internet order average daily internet order count right there average daily and I'm using again a current member calling down within the children of the current member so as we uh, drop on down I've got my internet order count and as I here's my uh, dates as I drop on down my children and now I'm selecting internet order count and the uh, uh, average daily internet quarter count on one and fiscal members I uh, dropping down here on the rows so I've got this I'm sorry in columns on zero so here's my average daily order count and now I'll go over and I'll switch it over and I'm adding a filter function in down here so now I'm calling in to, I'm saying to filter so that I can add in my filter greater than or equal to and then so I want uh, orders down here that are greater than the average or equal to that and as you can see that return and now I just flip that on out and so I'm saying less than or equal to and here's my five my averages and I drop on down again uh, what we have down here is the average and the filter combined together give us a chance to uh, qualify the different uh, orders